Well, Dave, they say managers love one nil wins. Did you love that one? No. <laughs> um, nah, listen, the first time since I've been here, really, I've been critical of, of, of the players. That's as disappointing as I've been with our second half performance. Um, and I've let them know that. Yeah. Um, I can say that it's good to be able to, I suppose from my perspective, vent when we've, we've won a game, but we need to be miles better than what we were. I was, like I said, really disappointed with our second half performance. Specifically, can you put your finger on the issues? Uh, the whole thing, to be, to be honest, I thought, <coughs> out of possession, um, I, I think, again, without, I think we're very good out of possession um, in terms of our press, but we looked disorganised once we got played through. Um, we didn't, I suppose, control and look secure out of possession, um, and we need to be or a lot more compact in terms of if we are sitting. And listen, I'll, t I'll take that from, from my perspective as a, um, a thing to learn, a thing to learn, and a thing to have to work on in terms of what happens when we can't be full press. Can we be sort of mid block and be a little bit more secure? Mm. Um, in possession is my biggest disappointment because I thought we lacked. We lacked composure, we lacked control, our technique was, was really poor and let us down. Um, that led fr to frustration on the pitch, led to frustration off the pitch, and it became a nervy game. Mm. And things, things aren't going to get easier. It's all of a sudden, well, it potentially might get easier once you're across the line, but until that point, you, you're always going to be going to be on edge, and we've got to stick to what has got us into the position that we've got into. Um, and we need to be miles better than what we were. And, I've told the players that um, they know I'm not happy even though we, we, we've won the game and we need to be miles better Any concerns about discipline another red card this afternoon with a melee in front of the dugouts here? No concerns because that's absolute stupidity um, we had a meeting about it um, earlier in the week um, around staying in the moment and staying in the game Yeah Kits is stupid and will cost him. He, he will get fined the maximum we can find him because that's like that is that is. I can't defend him. Indefensible. So again, he'll suffer. We'll suffer, especially on the back of we've had two left-sided players come off with injuries and he is stupid enough to get involved in a situation that's nothing to do with him on the back of having a yellow card. So I am fuming around that situation um, and he'll find out about it. You mentioned the injuries there. How bad are they, Johnson and, and Ryder? Um, Johnson should be okay. Um, a, a little lower back issue. Um, Rydell will obviously carry them on Monday, but hamstring. Um, so not a serious explosion one, but I'd suggest that it's probably going to be at least a week, um, maybe a, maybe a little bit longer. Which again is not ideal when you look at. Um, the three players we have down that left side <coughs> potentially all affected by by today's uh, today's game. When you wake up tomorrow, though, you'll still be looking at the league table. You'll still be top, and you'll still have won eleven of the last twelve, and you'll still be sick. Well, well, we'll see what happens at Chesterfield, but you'll still be clear at the top of the table. But um, will you feel maybe a little bit better as the week goes on because you're still in a very very strong position? Yeah, no, I feel better as the week goes on. I feel pro probably. Monday, Tuesday, when we're back, when we're back on the training pitch. But um, like I say, I'm, I'm, I'll be the biggest like backer of, of our, our our team because I I love watching us play and I love working with the, with, the, with the players. They've been they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, but I was disappointed with them today for like I say for the for the first time. And it, listen, if I can say that um, after being in the building for however long it's been, four months nearly. Um, that's the first time I've been disappointed with them then. They're not doing too badly. Um, I'll, like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll probably calm down at some point over the over the weekend and we'll probably have to have a, a conversation with them Monday morning to, um, not to apologise, but certainly to make out the things aren't as bad as I potentially think they are at the moment because I'm, like I say, I, I know they're better than that and that's a frustration for me because I want us to to show what we're about constantly. Not just listen, I want us to win first and foremost and when um, when all this frustration gets out of me, I, I will reflect and say we, we've won again. We can't be great all the time. If we can be yeah. not great and win, then that's a, a huge positive. But at the moment, um, it's all still a little bit rough. I suppose as well, it's a sign of how far we've come this season that we can be a little bit disappointed about a 1-0 home win. Yeah, um, 
It is. It's, uh, listen, I could, I can, I can, I can deal with one nil home wins all day. But I just, I think we have to have more, let's say, more control in the game yeah. um, around how we're how we're going about it. More control in terms of in possession. More control in terms of, like I say, the sending off, which is really angered me. Um, and I know we're better than that. We we let our our, te- our technique let us down in a not not high pressure environment. A little bit more pressure because we're sat top of the league, but. Hopefully that's never going to change, and and with that becomes a bravery to get on the ball and back your technique. Because all the things we do Monday to Friday ultimately are done to make it easier out there for you. Um, it's difficult to replicate the atmosphere in terms of there's not just 10, 11, 18, 20 nervous people. There's 8,000 nervous people um, that all want the same objective and all want us to, to do well. Um, but as I say, we'll. We'll learn from it. Um, it's another three points. We we take our brilliant away, away record to to all the shot next week in front of the TV cameras, and hopefully we can put on a um, a performance that is more like ourselves. You just mentioned the crowd there, and you say you're right. There was a little bit of nervousness, particularly. I think they had a chance ten minutes from time that could have could have ended in an equaliser. Having said all of that, goodness me, they stuck with you and there were 7,500 of them. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I get it. Listen, I, I think you, you you hear more the probably the few that are a little bit nervy yeah. in terms of a pass goes astray and it listen, I'm the same, I'm going Ugh. so it's not it's not like I don't I don't understand. Um, it's like I say, it's a it's a situation we find ourselves in that Everyone would have taken it. Well, we're demanding of it at the start of the season, and now yeah. we're there. So, again, as a as a as a group of players, as a management team, as a, a football staff, and as a club, we've got to embrace, embrace that, um, and we have to we have to manage that. And players, like I say, back to us, players are, are in control of that. Ultimately, no one's nervy in the crowd if we're um, absolutely bang on. And I'm not talking about scoring loads of goals, just in terms of. We make the right decisions. We we we're, 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 we're positive with our technique. We weren't. We made some poor decisions today in possession, and and put the game at more risk than what it should have been. After what was, in my opinion, a, a really positive first half performance that had intent, that had purpose against the wind. We're camped in their half of the pitch, and it shouldn't take us to score two and three goals to to, to relax. We we got a goal. That's enough to, to win us the game. We can still win the game in a comfortable manner second half, but like I say that's that's me being grumpy uh, and me I suppose wanting them to be um, the best version of them every single day. Dave, we appreciate your time. Have a good week and see you at Aldershot next week. Cheers, John. Thanks Thank you.